Hello, and welcome to the newest stable release version 2.0.2. In the following video, you'll get to know our newest functions added. Change log. In this official version, we have introduced an improved UI of the Manage Watch Folders page reworked on React.js. We have added the option to stream all codecs found on the video when configuring your watch folders. We have extended the information provided on the page for managing imported content from each watch folder, statistics like status, processed, files found, files failed, and files success, we can also filter only the failed imports and add them manually. You can now assign multiple categories to a single movie, stream, radio, or series. This can be done from the edit page of the stream or through the mass edit page for the given type of content. You can now edit the order of your packages in the panel. After you edit the order will be reflected on all pages where the packages are listed or presented in a drop-down menu. You can now change the number of decimal digits presented in the user interface. Also after changing them if any of the numbers are not fully shown you can hover over and the full number will be presented. For easier management of your external servers we have added bulk actions on the page, you can now install servers and delete them. We have introduced this functionality aiming to ease the access to TMDB data for every video on demand that you have on your panel. You can now click on the poster and get additional information for the TMDB information of the movie, series, or episode. You can now save a backup on any server you wish, any of your load balancers or proxy servers can be used for this. You just need to enter the details and save. Further from their regular backups will be created on the server you provided. You can now kill all connections to your content from the Manage Streams, Manage Radios, or Manage Movies pages. This functionality is available only to super administrators. It will allow them to change the package on the line from the edit page without transactions allowing you to alter the lines after their initial creation. You can now apply a fingerprint to your streams, it is done from the Manage Streams page. The fingerprint will be sent to all lines or devices currently watching the stream. We have added a simplified way to apply deinterlacing to your transcoding profiles. This option simply applies the deinterlacing filter with its default values over your streams. We have introduced a new action button on this page to clear outdated records manually. We also have given you the option to turn on the auto-delete outdated parsed streams from the edit page of each provider. A new feature allows you to control which packages can be combined when renewing or extending the line. Specify these packages in the edit form. We have filtered the internal lines from the dashboard stats to receive a clear view only of your actual customer connections. Let us see the list of bug fixes. Fixed downloaded images not served properly. 
Fixed Sometimes Stream Sources Order Not Saved Fixed XC Default Stream Order Setting Fixed Redirect for Offline Stream Fixed React Tables Causing Multiple History Entries Fixed Missing Package on FFmpeg Install Thank you for watching. Come to our website for more information, and make sure to subscribe to the channel.